This morning we warmly welcome back Sean Riley and the fabulous Perfect Pan. But I'd have to say, I'm stopped, you know, in supermarkets and it's lovely to welcome people around. But I have never had so much conversation about this Perfect Pan. Well, you know, Cathy, people have a passion for cooking. We cook every day of our lives. People love this pan because it can do almost anything in it. Exactly. Easy to cook, easy to clean. Now I've put an egg in here without fat, without any oil, without any butter. A uh, little two egg omelette, got it right up the side of the pan. Wow. Yeah, and can you see how it's just rolling off the it's side? It's so clean looking. It, it is, and it goes nice and brown and tasty. No fat, mm. no oil, no butter. Nothing but nothing but nothing. Too. Yeah, will ever stick to the surface. In this one, though, I've made a bit of a mistake, or as we call in a commercial kitchen. A bit of a mistake. Yeah, we've had a happy accident. When you have a happy accident with this pan, it's very, very forgiving. All you do is you wipe it or you wash it. Nothing will ever stick to the surface. So when you do your cooking now, Cathy, when you do your burrashes in the morning, when you do your sausages, your black pudding, your white pudding, it goes straight in the pan without any oil. And with a pan like this, you have the surface of a frying pan, you've got the height of a wok, so stir-fry cooking, Mexican fajitas. If you want to do a casserole, this is where a crepon pan comes into its own. Fry your meat off on the hob, add everything else, pop the lid on top, Take the handle off and you can use that pan in the oven. One pot to cook, one pot to clean. By the way, you'll notice when we do the rasher, uh, all the salt comes off the rasher and burns up on the surface. If you grill rashers, most of this fat and oil goes up into the inside of your grill. No one ever cleans it. With this one, all you need to do is give it a little wipe. Nothing but nothing but nothing again, will ever stick to the surface. Back pan, back again. Exactly. Uh, and the great thing about this pan, on the hob, in the oven, under the grill, gas, electric, ceramic, halogen, agar, rayburn, stanley, or essay, it doesn't matter what, what hob you have, on what heat source, or what temperature, nothing ever sticks. Take the handles off, fantastic for storage if you have children in a the kitchen. They call it the perfect pan. It is the perfect pan. Shatterproof glass lids, Cathy, if you drop that lid, it won't break. Even, even on, on a ceramic floor. Even on a ceramic floor. And let me show you something else. This is a little bit of sugar. Sugar will melt and caramelise at 300 degrees, and it will burn molten and blacken at 600. Look at the way the sugar is burning to the base of the pan. That gets to about 600 degrees, hotter than any oven. When it comes for cleaning your pan, whatever you cook, put on a plate. Whatever you burn goes in the bin. Half a cup of water, give it a shake. Pull the water out, Kath. Add a little bit more for rinsing, and it's back on the hob, Ooh. and you're ready for the next job. Inside this one, you'll notice I have the cooking. I've left it a little, little bit too long. I've started to burn things, but look, nothing but you can't nothing. Burn. Yeah, will ever stick to the surface. You can ruin the food, but you'll you never ruin ever the ruin the pan. It's fantastic. And when you do your eggs in here, look, crack your egg in the pan. No grease, no oil, no fat, no butter. A little bit of water, and we're going to use this water to baste the egg. Pop the lid on the top. The water will steam. The steam will circulate. The pan cooks the bottom of the egg. The steam will cook the top of the egg. And that takes about two minutes to cook. It's absolutely brilliant.